Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Tom Spark. Welcome back to another video. Today I have a really cool tool. This tool will completely let you nuke the crap out of Discord, Reddit, Facebook, Twitter, and more. Purge them completely of all of your past activity. Now this can be really useful when you want to keep your anonymity online. Maybe someone's been harassing you, threatening you, you just want to nuke everything and ensure something doesn't happen. Maybe you are afraid someone's going to dox you, harass you in some way, find real life information about you or something like that. This is definitely a tool you want to take advantage of. But guys, also, if that is the case, if you're worried someone's going to dox you, harass you, threaten you, find in real life information about you, you might want to check out one of the data removal tools that will purge the data brokers out there because if one of the reasons you're wanting to delete information about yourself from discord or any of these websites because someone might have found out your real name uh for example if my name was john smith someone could just very easily look it up by uh, my name and then put in the zip code where i live and then find my address fortunately john smith is a name that is a diamond dozen there's probably thousands of john smiths but even in this area there's only a couple so if someone does find out your name it can be concerning so it's important to get a tool to remove your name and information from websites just like this one so i'm going to put a link in the description down below to a tool that will help you do that if you're interested but now let's get on to the tool i'm talking about that's completely free that's going to be a tool called redact redact.dev to be specifically the website now this is a really cool tool basically you download it on your computer and it's going to automatically clean up your old posts from services like twitter reddit facebook discord and more so it's pretty cool you could customize it to remove specific content, tweets, messages, and stuff like that. They also seem to be expanding. Um, it has 40 plus service support, scheduled deletions, delete all types of content and smart deletion as well. Um, they also support Twitch, Imager, Reddit, Facebook, and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and try it out and see what it's like. All right, guys, so I've downloaded Redact and now it's installing. It's not on my screen. There it is. So we're just gonna to allow it. And this is kind of what it looks like. There's a user agreement um, over here. Um, I don't really wanna share anything right now. So we could scan the browser su for supported devices. Wow, this is pretty cool. There is a lot of support here for all sorts of things. Really pretty cool. Um, Slack, Quora, Reddit, Skype. So we have the ability to schedule deletions. We have logs of probably when activities happen. This is a survey that can help the team on um, various settings. So pretty cool. So let's try clicking on something like Discord. So you can log into Discord and start deleting some messages. Let's try that. All right, so we're logging into our Discord now. So now it's just gonna be running through it and deleting all these messages. So it's deleting about 0.4 messages a second. Pretty good. 251 messages and it's gonna take nine minutes. Wow, that's really cool how automated this is. I've never seen anything work this well. I've made custom keybinds before and stuff like that. Auto hotkey try to do this, but this is working really well. Nice. All right, guys, so it's deleted a pretty good amount of messages. So I'm gonna pause the deletion right now. This is a really cool application. The scan browser feature, it didn't really work too good for me, but simply picking one of these works fine and it's very good. Um, so guys, definitely check out this one if you're interested in kind of deleting some information about yourself um, in in um, any application where they're worried about someone finding something personal about you on Reddit, um, someone harassing you or anything like that. Also, if you're worried about that, check out my recommended data broker removal tool in the description down below. And I'll see you in the next video very soon.